I'm Marie Feebach of FeedYourFamilyTonight.com and today I'm going to teach you how to assemble a fruit basket. Fruit baskets have kind of fallen out of fashion lately and I'm here to bring them back. I think they make a perfect holiday gift and there's a few reasons. The first thing is it's gluten free, it's paleo, it's vegan. So if you have someone that has some specialty diets, most everybody can eat fruit. So it's a nice gift to give. The other thing is during the holidays, we're often getting a lot of sweets and baked goods and a basket of fruit is kind of a counterpart to that. Now we might be adding a little bit of sweet to this just to kind of sweeten up the basket and we'll get to that a little later. But you wanna start with just a cellophane bag. I bought these in a two pack at the dollar store. You can get them in different colors. You can, I got these in red, you can get them in clear. You wanna make sure that it's big enough to cover the basket and have extra room so that you can tie a bow at the top. Then you can use a basket or a decorative box. You could even get a plastic bowl at the dollar store, something to use to hold the fruit. If the container is a little bit too big for the amount of fruit you want to give, you can kind of build up the bottom by crumpling up brown paper sacks or tissue paper. But I'm gonna start my base with grapefruit because grapefruit are really big and they fill up the bottom of the basket so they make a nice base for this fruit basket. The next thing I'd like to add is something that is a centerpiece, oftentimes a pineapple. And I wanna talk a little bit about how to purchase a pineapple. To tell if a pineapple is ripe, if you pluck one of the leaves and it comes out really easily, you know that the pineapple is ripe. This one is actually a little underripe and I kind of bought it that way on purpose because I want it to be able to ripen on the counter once I give this as a gift. When you ripen pineapples, it is better to lay it on its side because the sugars will distribute evenly throughout the pineapple as it ripens. And about every day, you want to rotate the pineapple a little bit so that you end up with the sugar distributed evenly throughout the pineapple. So that's a little bit about buying a pineapple. So I'm gonna set the pineapple in next. And then I'm just gonna fill around with different colors of fruit. You could use any fruit that you like, although I do not recommend bananas because bananas ripen quickly and they let off ethylene gas, which will cause the fruit to ripen more quickly, which is something you don't really want in a fruit basket. So I'm just gonna start building around this pineapple with different fruit. I like to have different shapes and colors. I've got red pears and green pears and red apples and green apples. And as you build around this, as you start getting taller, in order to keep it from tumbling over or rolling around, you can use a little bit of double sticky tape and you can actually put the tape directly on the fruit and then they will kind of stick to each other and that helps the fruit not to shift as you transport the fruit basket. So a little bit of double sticky tape can be a nice little trick to building up this fruit basket. Once you have it built up and you've got lots of different colors and shapes and sizes, then you're simply going to pull the cellophane bag up over the basket and tie it with a bow. I like to use this tool ribbon because it's really simple to tie a bow. I'm gonna cut a little length here for you. And you can make this bow as simple or as fancy as you want. But honestly, all you need to do is gather it at the top and then just tie a bow. And you have a fun and festive gift now, sometimes I like to add some extras. This one has a bag of coffee. Sometimes I'll add a chocolate bar. You can add different add-ins more than just the fruit, depending upon who is going to be receiving this gift. This full method for making a fruit basket is at feedyourfamilytonight.com. If you have questions about it, visit me in the Feed Your Family Tonight Facebook group and know that the Feed Your Family Tonight holiday planner is still available, but it's going to go off sale at the end of this week. So if you still want a copy of it, now is the time to get it. It has lots of things to help you organize through the holidays, help you get organized with your gift giving and your donations, your gift wrapping, and so much more. That's available at feedyourfamilytonight.com slash holiday.